Absolutely. I think she was a very progressive leader and she really put things in motion for us as a state. And so I, I know that we will miss her as educators. Outside state school board headquarters on Baltimore Street, reaction to the sudden resignation of Dr. Lillian Lowry, just three days after she chaired a monthly board meeting. I think that she's going to do very well wherever she, um, she goes. Dr. Lowry. Congratulations. <laughs> Lowry, who was hired during the O'Malley administration, is leaving to head up an education nonprofit company in Columbus, Ohio, called Future Ready. In Maryland, Lowry helped put Common Core standards into place. During her time on the job, more Maryland students received diplomas. The state's dropout rate also fell. Lowry promoted a number of statewide programs, from STEM to computer science. Here's what she told me the first day or two on the job back in 2012. There is always room for improvement, so it is a matter of meeting with people, talking with people, and trying to focus in on those targeted areas where we really need to have that laser-like focus. On Lowry's leaving, the head of the Maryland State Education Association said, while we have had deep policy differences with Dr. Lowry on how the overemphasis on testing impacts students and educators, we appreciate her interest in engaging educators in collaborative efforts to improve professional development and student learning objectives. Dr. Jack Smith, Lowry's chief academic officer, will serve in the interim role. There's no word yet on when the state will launch a national search for Lowry's replacement. Now, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan called Lowry a dedicated public servant who has devoted her career to bettering public education. Lowry starts her new job at a company called Future Ready in Ohio on September 14th. Live in the 11 Newsroom, Tim Tootin, WBAL, TV 11 News.